Have you ever been stuck in the middle of nowhere and understood how Sisyphus must have felt? Wait, 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 maybe that's a little too far too early. Let me start way further back and give you no context for about seven and a half minutes so you remember later what is so interesting about the long drive. Well, this is a story about how me and my friend Moo lost all our brain cells in the first two minutes and were tripping off heat stroke and chronic no bitches. We start our story in the middle of nowhere and the first thing in the morning I love to is spiking my own tea with crack so we can wake the fuck up. Now that the video is demonetized, we can start our true journey. By the way, ah, multiplayer, as if I've, as if I've ever, oh wait. Huh? And what it felt like 30 minutes of finding out how to start the multiplayer, we managed to find one another in the world. Amazing, right? And because the game was called The Long Drive, we of course had to fix our ride. And I decided that the motorcycle is the best option from all of them. This was followed by literally 55 minutes of us trying to fix the bike and giving up because it simply wasn't able to stand. Yes, our first big hurdle was literally before we even started an engine. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Spin! Where the fuck did it go? So we simply quit and restarted because fuck this bike! Suck. Put the road, Jeff. Hey, yo! Yes, this took us five seconds to start the car. Now, smarter than ever, we start our new journey, which is learning how to use the first gear and not driving in reverse the entire time. For fuck's sake, how hard can this be? Apparently too hard. We simply restarted again and after a bit of murder we are off to push the fucking car again to the next gas station because fuel is so freaking rare in this game you might as well walk. <laughs> Fuck! I don't know, I'm just gonna fall asleep and shit. Where am I? Now at a gas station we finally can fuel up our car. Is what you think I would have said if gas was more rare than Joe Biden being able to say a single sentence correctly. So I shot an innocent resident, started scavenging, and besides a huge pile of disappointment and broken dreams, I mean, look at my YouTube channel, I'm used to that. We found a bike. And so we started going by bike for another 25 minutes before I said, nuh uh. And restarted the run in hopes that we find a new and improved car that might be able to also drive forwards. Okay, oh, yeah. here's the gas station right around the corner. Are you for real? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you had me there. And just on a side note, it was not helping that in the first four hours or so we were filling up our gas like this. Thank fuck, I almost hit it. But all the work was worth it in the end, as after several restarts, we finally found good old Betty right here. What is so special about Betty? She takes in diesel, not gas, and by some kind of miracle, we only have 2 liters of gas, but entire 20 liters of diesel in the basement. Which means, even with my dog shit skills of fueling up anything, I had enough left to get the needed diesel in to drive us far enough to maybe get a sign from God that we would be totally lost without any sort of lucky assistance. Uh. We lost the oil! <laughs> Fuck sake. Let me check here. <laughs> Everything is gone. <laughs> I saw the barrel like way down. That's our lights. That's like our spare tire. I want to know, can I just, you know, like put that in here? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> After a totally legit repair break from 30 seconds of driving and crashing, we are off to far, far lands where crack cocaine is growing. And our first stop was a small house by the side of the road. In the hopes that my endless lust for drugs might be quenched, we searched everything this house had to offer. And besides an overdose junkie and a gun, it was empty. So basically, the average 20 square foot house for 1.5 million bucks in California. We upgraded our ride a little and continued to something of value. You see what I see? Oh my god! And something of value we found. On our long and hard way through the desert, we find a sunken... Crashed. How the fuck did this ship end up in the desert? Anyways, we hit rock bottom. I mean oil. Anyways, this is where everything has changed for us. Not only because America wants to know my location now, but mostly because we now have a virtually infinite level of fuel. And the only bad thing I can say about it is, 
that my dump truck of an ass is now so heavy that driving became an absolute fucking nightmare. And after filling all the needs of our car, we kept following the road and found another California millionaire's residence, who also immediately. immediately tried to get me to Epstein's island. Yeah, where's he? Your what the hell? He tries to enter the car. <laughs> He's like right above me. I'm not a guy. Is... My legs are Fuck not off. so good, so please He's stop. trying to I open the to door! <laughs> Thank God gunpowder is so available. And don't worry, Pimp My Ride is still available, as you can see, with upgrades like shit color paint with texture. Color. It even gives texture. Oh, hell yeah. By the way, do you know how hard it is to put six full barrels of hot oil and shit and piss back on the trunk of an F-250? Those barrels are like two metric fucktons of Kardashian! <laughs> Do you know the feeling when you see that a game is getting more difficult by about 1% just to tease you at what might happen in about 30 minutes? If you do, then you know what foreshadowing is. Because at that point I thought that the way down would be the challenge, as the slightest increase in speed and the smallest pebble on the road is a fast travel directly to the ER. And your doctor is literally a DIY guide on how to fix your ribcage with a piece of string, duct tape and of course glue that I never have! Until then, I after another PTSD flashback from my childhood, he's opening up the door! We found something more interesting than oil and gas. Yes, America, unbelievable. I know, you will understand once you grow up. What? No, not women. This game. Oh, no, we found an engine. This engine takes gas, not diesel. But what coincidence? We have around 80 liters of that stuff. So I don't care, out with the old, in with the new. Ta da. Oh my god, look at that upgrade. Look at the beauty. <laughs> Oh, and have I told you how much I love putting back the barrels into the car? Because, man, why do I always want to do fucked up shit like this? It never ends well! No! No! Fuck! It's crazy how much this game reminds me of Sisyphus. Because of the fucked up amount how my car okay. just falls over. Thank god that's the only reason. Wait, why does this script tell me you wish in parentheses? Oh no! Nah! Nah! No! Oh shit! Um, the game doesn't I, like I that. I died! I died! I died! Yeah, I hate cliffhangers like that, but the video isn't over. But for fuck's sake, I wish it was! Luckily, after dying in my sleep, I woke up again, and like Jesus, I rise as the show must go on, and I don't give you the satisfaction of killing me! Have you heard taxes? You won't fucking get me, no matter how many ages you send me, bitch! Anyways, after what it felt like, and according to my recording software, 21 minutes, we saw a new structure that I haven't seen before, and the excitement off my step. Wait, cars don't make steps. Ah, no! Fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> That's awful. Didn't I say something about Sisyphus? Who cares anymore? We got the barrels, went to the house. <gasps> car! Everything is okay again. We have a new car with my engineering skills. I flipped the car, made it drive again, fueled it up, and with two cars, we now share the weight. So we put everything in my car. I can't see you. Why do I have the feeling that this is not going to make me have a good time driving? Um... Oh shit 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 my car! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Oh, my car! <laughs> Thank fuck there was a mountain. Jesus fuck, dude. My car! Come back! No! Oh, let me sit! Let me sit! Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, what else? Hit, hit me! I'm ready for everything! What? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> MY BARREL! <laughs> of course. Of course. But hey, one last thing before everything goes downhill. Or up. You will understand soon enough. We found another ship. In the middle of the fucking desert. Another one.
One more! How? Anyway, we filled up everything that could be possibly made me surpass the legal weight limit and we were off. Off to finish myself off because this is some thick bullshit. Bye, have a great time. Well, this is what the gods have set up for me. After me and Moo started to climb the mountain of Sus and Fuss, I realized something. That motherfucker left all the way to my car. And not that I want to blame him or anything, but what do you think is a car gonna look like that tries to climb a 30 degree steep street with enough fuel and resources to keep a camp alive in an apocalypse for at least four business days? If you said smoking its ass off and almost breaking down, you're exactly right, how do you know that? And with my pride I didn't want to show that my car is too weak. With my greed I didn't want to let go of the diesel that we have no use for. But at least it has emotional value. My lust for drugs didn't want to let go of the alcohol. No, I don't have all seven deadly sins. My character has literally starved to death because I am too lazy. That's at least one of the list. But I have to prove myself, not only to Moo, but also Betty. And show that my new car can at least keep up. Does that sound weird? I feel like that might sound weird. So I had to beat the Sisyphus mountain. I decided to get rid of the weight. This diesel has to go. Goodbye my old friend. Thanks to you we were able to reach this far in the first place. Alcohol had to go as well. As by the fuck I have no idea what you're good for. And the several 100 kilogram less on my car. We still couldn't move. What the fuck? So I had to use my special technique to not go straight up the mountain, but at an angle which still proved itself to be too difficult. Thus I had to do it like the god itself. I took the car into my hand and threw it up the mountain. What do you mean that's not how I did it? Okay, I had to push the car, as my fucky car had not the horsepower to move up this tall ass mountain. So I actually had to play Sisyphus. Do you know why I asked you if you know how Sisyphus must have felt? Yes, that was in the beginning of the video. Let me show you. What is it called? Oh, the yeah, the yeah, street lights are on the them. right. Fuck, 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 fuck! My god! Please, three! What the fuck are you? <laughs> no! I don't know where. It lost all four wheels. <laughs> what the fuck? With my car at the bottom of the mountain, torn to bits, I had to rebuild most of it, and Moo's game crashed, and he lost his car on the other side of the mountain. We had a clear goal in front of us. We will reach the mountaintop. We will reach the other side. And we will save Betty. Dude, this took for fucking ever. <laughs> After another 20 minutes of refining all the parts that rolled down the mountain and finding out how to repair some of the weirdest parts like wheels. Blech. We were back at the car, and with two people in the car, the things looked possible at best. We decided to ditch the road, as it seems to have no benefit to us, yet even with the smallest incline we were able to take, we still had the car steam most of the way. It might have been close to destroying itself. Maybe. But we drove night and day. And we even found something glitching like crazy. Don't know if it's Betty or not, but only finding her will tell... I guess. By the time we noticed the glitching stop, we were close to the peak and so we see the other side of the mountain. But no better yet. At least I was able to flex with my driving skills. <laughs> skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, parts from Betty. We found parts from her but not her, so we had to keep on looking. And by looking, I mean crash my car into literally nothing and everything. Oh my god! My wheel! And of course it was tactical, as there's no way in hell I would have done a guard wheel with my car without the intention of finding Betty. And with Betty back in our grass, and the mountain of Sisyphus beaten, I have learned absolutely fucking nothing. I am done. 